Hi, I'm Reynaldo, and this is Ray Purpose Made, where I merge art and furniture to create your one-of-a-kind custom home essential. Please like and subscribe to get my latest videos. You ever just need your TV to be a little bit higher off of where your dresser is? Like maybe you need to fit like a couple of consoles under the TV, or when you're laying in bed, it's not at the right incline, and you want a more ergonomic way to watch TV in bed? You know what you need, right? You need a TV riser. A TV riser is just a basic object that raises up the TV, like a TV stand, basically. And what it allows is to have space under the TV where the dresser is, and you also could um, raise up the TV, basically, you know? Um, so that is a product that I make. And I've been making it for about four or five years. It's one of the first products I was making when I first started repurposing um, wood to make furniture items. So this piece has always been made out of pallet wood. And pallet wood is the wood that you would find um, when stores are bringing in more merchandise. They have these big pallets and you um, load tons, literal tons of stuff on it. So you know that means the wood is really strong. It's actually made out of pressure treated wood. Um, so it's really, really dense. And um, because of that, it can take a lot of weight. So when I make these TV risers completely out of repurposed material, it is really strong. This product I'm making right now is for an Etsy client. Uh, what I did was I found the pallet out in the street. I know where to look. I found the pallet out in the street, brought it back to my studio, then took all the nails out, broke it down. I literally have this like actual tool that's like a fork or something that breaks out pallets. I did that, take all the pieces apart, then I cut the to size that I want, then take it outside, you know, sand it, make it cute, make it clean, and then constructed the whole item. Uh, this is a really fun project. It's kind of reminiscent to me because like I haven't made that many TV stands in, in a little while, so it's nice to do something that I used to do or one of my like origin story kind of projects. So that was really cool to do. That's about it. Thank you. Gotta do my thing. Ain't for chatter like some Morse code. Less I'm in the booth and gotta do it for some poor so That's for a bigger purpose. I write these words, hope they find you and that it'll be worth it. I know that it'll be worth it. I've been praying for you. Just hope you're praying for me. I write the pain in my life just so all you can see. This is solely for you. This is Harley for me. Praying for my city, praying, praying for my city. Oh yeah. I've been praying for you. Just hope you're praying for me. I write the pain in my life, just so all you can see. This is solely for you. This is Harley for me. Praying for my city. So this is the finished piece. Now that it's all the way complete, I want to give you a little bit of a tour, tell you a little bit more about me working on it. As you've seen from the previous video, it was all made from one palette. This Etsy order, it was looking for 30 by 14 and a half inches, which is why I used three different pieces of two different sizes. These are both five and a half inches, the typical size for the um, pallet wood. And this is three and a half inches, also a typical size for pallet wood, just like two by fours, two by sixes. Two by sixes are five and a half inches. Two by fours are three and a half inches. These are technically, I guess, one by fours and one by sixes. There's a lot of information about that I'm not going to bore you about. But anyway, this whole thing was made from one pallet wood. And I um, used this piece, the, the thinner piece of wood for the sides because I thought it might be, look a little bit better than having the whole thing be encapsulated so much there and maybe not have as much space for like if you want to pass wires or something. So that's something I, I, I seriously thought about. Uh, the stain color is golden oak, client request. And I didn't feel the need to have to sand the underside. It kind of let, lets the person know like where you came from kind of thing. It is clean, but it wasn't sanded. So you can really see how smooth this finish is, how much work I put into getting it from what it was here to now what it will be now without ever getting any splinters. So that's like a really cool thing. It was, it was cut, sanded and everything. So it's totally ready to go. And I'm taking it to the client right now. I have made quite a few TV risers in the past, and this is one of those projects that people really just want function and not as much an art project to go along with it, much like the bed risers I make as well. So I really haven't had much opportunity to 
art this up, but I've had a lot of opportunities to make different versions of this product because not everyone has the same needs or the same TV, especially if they have a really heavy TV. Like I said before, this is pallet wood, so it's incredibly, incredibly strong. I, I don't have a number, but I know it can hold a lot of weight. But people who were more, um, had more anxiety about the object and maybe that the TV was too heavy, I created a center bar. Um, a center bar right here, pretty much like this, like the other two on the side, which um, allows the object to be to not bend in, in any way. I also created sometimes where there was a bar here, but also another leg because the object itself was so long. I think I made a TV stand as wide as maybe six feet or I mean, five feet or six feet, so they can get really long and it's as okay, they can get as long as they want, as long as they have the proper footing in either a midpoint or like two midpoints if needed. I also made really tiny ones. My mother wanted to have a radio stand in her like kitchen counter so she could listen to music while cooking and while washing dishes. But as you know, that's a wet, messy area, so she didn't want to get the radio messed up. So I made a cute little TV riser, I mean, radio riser just for that. So there is a lot of opportunity for modification of the product without it even being art, but then also there's a lot of room for art to be on this. Now, I would never put art on this surface because this is the surface that's intended to be covered and closed. Just like if I was making a bookshelf or closet racks, I would never put the, I would never put the art on, on the bookshelf surface. It's a waste because you will never really see it. But if I wanted to do something that was art directed on an object like this, the things I would think about is maybe doing something cute on the side, on the outer side here, or even something simple like this exact brown golden oak um, TV riser, but maybe just the rim has a color. Maybe it's black, maybe it's gold, maybe it's white, and that could be the offset that brings it out of just functional furniture and then to like a little bit of an art piece. So those are the, the kind of thoughts I have for how I can elevate a project like this. Uh, maybe yours is the one that has the art on it. Let me know. If you like what you've seen, you can have your very own Ray Purpose Made piece. You can find me on Instagram, Etsy, Facebook, and Gmail under Ray Purpose. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again. And please rate, share, subscribe on your way out. Bye. Love my city, but it's gritty, filled with dope and fiends. Broken dreams, broken promises, and broken hearts. It rained cats and rained dogs, man. No assault couldn't even save us. Every day is like a struggle. Every day is a maze. Nothing makes sense, and we just sit and hope for change. Hope the gain, hope the rain clear out. Nowadays, I'm letting faith come in and my fears out. Every day I hear about young is killing, hating on the low.